Hello, it's Matt Thomas back with another Sonic Academy tech tip and we're looking at another standalone unusual time stretching app. It's Paul's Extreme Sound Stretch. It's written there, Paul's Extreme Sound Stretch. Sometimes it's called Pauly Stretch on the net if you bump into that same thing. Uh, it's free and the first thing you're going to want to do for this tech tip is go and download it from this web address here or just stick Paul Stretch into Google and you'll find it. Um, it's a quite a, a, it's not particularly complex but it's got a lot of features so a kind of a full overview of how to use this would take up a whole Sonic Academy course and maybe that's a bit specialized so what I'm going to do is just alert you to the fact this exists show you its key feature which really you know is the kind of the big sell point and what you might use it for in a track in like three four five minutes um, and then if you want to explore deeper there's all the instructions on this page just keep on scrolling on down and there's lots of info about all the various parameters and how to get some pretty groovy stuff out of it but rather than just babble I will play it you so what we need to do is uh, you install the app. I've got it installed here. Da, da, da. There you go. It's one of these old fashioned things that looks like it's not been changed in about 96. Um, you just pull in a file, so file open, and you've got to kind of, sort of navigate your way, you know, through a really old fashioned navigation box to wherever the folder with your music is. And I'm going to use a sort of acoustic little B side I did a couple of years ago, um, which has got a nice clear vocal on it. So that's gone in. Um, what I'll do is I'll give you a quick preview of the tune in question. So this is um, the thing that we're going to be sort of messing up with the time stretch. A terrain has gone off the map I know where we planned I hope you know the way Okay, so it's literally a voice and an acoustic guitar, not particularly spacey, electronic or ambient, but we're going to fix that and use that recording there to make something probably quite useful for like um, anybody doing electronic or wants to make weird kind of spaced out drops, whatever it might be, you can use this to kind of create some fantastic textures really quickly. Now, obviously, I'm using a tune of my own. Um, it probably might happen I guess somewhere in the universe one day that somebody might use this technique to take an obscure Korean pop song and extract all kinds of unrecognizable mad stuff from it obviously I would never do that myself or do anything like that but I'm just saying it could happen so that's maybe something which might occur if somebody knew how to use this uh, and wanted to use it in a track anyway so what we've got is very simple as you would expect it's got a stretch bar there and you've got a window size here which affects kind of like the sort of uh, the tone and the character of the time stretch pretty straightforward so if I press play with a stretch on one times we should hear the track play at normal speed now this is not a time stretch algorithm this is trying to kind of preserve the original sound use something else this one is for kind of turning it into weird wishy twisted hour long ambience so even at the normal speed you'll hear it sounds quite different <laughs> Okay, so that's the track we just heard being played back at the normal speed, and obviously straight away it's losing lots of the transients, lots of the edge, and you've got that kind of slightly blurry sound. Well, that in itself is just kind of like a degraded bit of audio, not much use to us, but what happens when you start to get into the extreme time stretching? So straight away, you could grab that, stick it in a drop, automate some volume and some filtering, and you've got the most fantastic texture to work with. So that's kind of like a simple one trick pony you can get out of this. You can do an awful lot more. What I'll show you is also a nice little button down here, the freeze button. So if you, what you could maybe do is put a track you like in, you can stretch it and like pull out chords to like the length you want. And when you've got them, you can freeze them and then sample that off. So I'll give you another example of that now. So if we carry on playing. Oh, 
Now that last one is just like a fantastic it was a white noise tonality build. So this is what I'm saying, it's really just put a sound in there um, that you know just will get completely mangled beyond recognition and you can use that to create these incredibly complex sounding things that sound as though you spent like you know half an hour using Omnisphere or something and you've actually just pulled a tune up, stretched it, looped it, grabbed sections. Um, now you might be thinking, yeah it's all very well Matt, but how do I get the sound that you're doing out of this? Um, well, there is like a kind of a complex write to file section at the end where you sort of tell, tell it to get stuck in, it sits there and it chews away for half an hour. Probably more usefully is if you just grab the audio coming out of this application in real time and just route it straight into Ableton and just record sections, chop them up, cut them in there and use them in your track. Um, I'm going to do another tip in a second that will explain how to do something like that so that you can um, have this running live and just be grabbing the sound off it and then edit it in your own time. I'll do a couple more quick just plays around with this to show you what it can do but really that's the kind of the essence of it. I'll quickly just play with a few of the things in the other menus here. If you want to learn it properly, go and read the um, the kind of little website manual. And if enough of you people are interested, maybe we'll come back and do a proper little, uh, little look at it. But I'll just do some tinkering around here. You can hear what can get done. <laughs> So there you go, straight away I'm sitting here and I've got something fantastic which I'd love to get into a track right now. So next tip I'll show you how. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.